Welcome to the Arduino Project Relay. But before we get started, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and always remember to subscribe to the channel by hitting the little subscribe icon at the end. And also remember to click the bell to keep yourself informed of all the videos that will appear. So let's begin. So what we need for this project is one relay and we need three wires male to male wires red green and yellow this is the standard relay i got and i will leave a link in the description of where i got it and this relay is a basic relay which has three lines dc plus minus and in the dc plus and minus is where you power it and the in also detects whether things are high or low or zero and one choice the other side of the relay has three different choices no which is normally open a common and nc which is normally closed you can hook leds or anything you want on the other side of the relay to control here is the wiring on the left side of it positive is the red wire ground is the green wire and the yellow wire is the little wire that indicates whether the relay will close or open. In this project, I left an option so you can put a display on it to display active or activated and deactivated. On a breadboard, choose an area where you can join some red wires together. Like on this example, run one wire from the five volt to the breadboard and then one wire from the relay on the breadboard and the other wire from the display onto that breadboard. The reason why we did that is there was only one 5 volt or 5V pin on your Arduino. So you can join them together on a breadboard. Here are the connections on the Arduino. The green wire, the ground, comes from, because we have two of them, comes from the relay. The black wire comes from the optional display and that 5 volt, the 5V wire, is the one that goes to your breadboard. The number two pin on the Arduino comes from your relay. So you hook from the relay in line to number two on the Arduino. Here are the connections on the display, if you're curious. The black is the ground, which goes to the ground in the Arduino. VCC is positive, which goes to the breadboard. SDA and SCL match those wires to the Arduino. You will see pins that say the same thing, SCA and SCL. And that concludes your connection of the display. So now let's do some coding. Now these lines I'm about to add are optional, but they go with the libraries for the display. So you can start by including those libraries as I put on the code. So you would include a wire.h library, which are all your connections. And then you include another library, which is for your liquid crystal display, your little LCD display. If you do not put these in and you do not have a display, just remember on the other lines on the code, I'll tell you what lines to remove that you don't need. It's actually very simple code mm -hmm. for this project. And this is our command, which tells what type of screen it is. And on this one, I'm using a four line liquid crystal display. And that is a very important code, the 0x27. 
that's how it operates on this display. So we add one more line, which is our pin, which activates the relay. So I call it trigger pin, and I misspelled it there. <laughs> and I'm identifying it as two. Okay, so on the setup, I'm going to put some lines to initiate the display. If you are not using the display, you do not need these lines. Anything that says LCD init and LCD backlight, you do not need those two lines of code. This line you do need, and that tells the Arduino that you are using pin two to output something on or off. Now we go to the loop. So we start with the loop and if you do not have a display, you don't need this line, but this puts the cursor of that display on zero zero at the very beginning and it displays the word activated or activate so now we tell the arduino that we are going to write something out on the trigger pin which is pin two we're going to put high which is a one and that line you need and you need the delay line so i'm delaying it one second so now i'm going to put another op two optional lines that tell the cursor on the same spot And I'm going to put deactivate. Now this line you need, you put digital right and you go to the trigger pin and then we put it as low, which will be a zero on it. And I'm going to put another delay. 1000 is about a second. So that is our code. You can pause the video and take a look and also check the comments. I post the code on the comments and the website. And now let's see the Arduino operate. So there's a video of it running. When the red light is on, it says activate. When the red light or the red light is off, it says deactivate. So the relay will go on and off, on and off. If you like the video, feel free to Leave us a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel as it, as it is very important as you will get a lot of videos and some very, very good information on more programming for Arduino. And like I say, the most important thing is to have fun and keep on learning.